What are the root causes? In 1948, Palestinian land was seized to form the state of Israel. The Palestinians were massacred and forced to leave their land. Their homes and farms were seized. They tried to fight the conventional war with help from sympathetic neighbors. The friends of Israel ensured this attempt failed. More Palestinian land was seized and Israeli settlements were built on more and more Palestinian land and the Palestinians themselves are denied access to, the, to these settlements built on their land. The Palestinians initially tried to fight with catapults and stones. They were shot with live bullets and arrested. Thousands are incarcerated. Frustrated and angry, unable to fight a conventional war, the Palestinians resort to what we call terrorism. The world does not care even when Israel breaks international laws, seizing ships, carrying medicine, food, and building materials in international waters. The Palestinians fired ineffective rockets which hurt no one. Massive retaliations were mounted by Israel, rocketing and bombing hospitals, schools, and other buildings, killing innocent civilians, including school children and hospital patients, and more. The world reward Israel deliberately by deliberately provoking Palestine by recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. It is the anger and frustration of the Palestinians and their sympathizers that caused them to resort to what we call terrorism. But it is important to acknowledge that any act which terrify people also constitute terrorism. And states dropping bombs on or launching rockets which maim and kill innocent people also terrify people. These are also acts of terrorism. Malaysia hates terrorism. We will fight them. But we believe that the only way to fight terrorism is to remove the cause. Let the Palestinians return to reclaim their land. Let there be a state of Palestine. Let there be justice and the rule of law. Warring against them will not stop terrorism, nor will out-terrorizing them succeed. We need to remind ourselves that the United Nations organization, like the lead of League of Nations before, was conceived for the noble purpose of ending wars between nations. Wars are about killing people. Modern wars are about mass killings and total destruction countrywide. Civilized nations claim that they abhor killings for any reason. When a man, a man kills, he, he commits the crime of murder. And the punishment may be death. But wars, we all know, encourage and legitimize killings. Indeed, the killings are regarded as noble, and the killers are hailed as heroes. They get medals stuck to their chests and statues erected in their honor, have their names mentioned in history books. There is something wrong about our way of thinking with our value system. Kill one man, it is murder. Kill a million and you become a hero. And so we still believe that conflicts between nations can be resolved with war. And because we still do, we must prepare for war and more destructive weapons. We now have nuclear bombs capable of destroying whole cities. 
a nuclear war would destroy the world. 